but let me let me bring up a point that I think is super valid, right? I know we got a lot of time on this on this clock, but this podcast we get. Yeah, you know when when it looks at this shit, I go and I go. I don't like that they categorize Don Tolliver, a boogie, Rowdy Rebel, Rowdy Rich, and they and they cloud these guys as rappers. They're not rappers, and they're not R and B singers. And this is not a diss. I think that we should make a genre for the people who do that. Mm. Blue. Young Blue. Young Blue. They are not R&B artists. They are not rappers. Why is it that our genre of hip hop continues to underserve our own music? Mm. Why don't, like how there's a soft rock, hard rock, alternative rock, contemporary rock, and regular pop rock. Why does that have so many sections and our genre doesn't? Why don't we put respect on our own genre? Mm. Why don't we have what that would be? I don't, I don't know, wave rap, whatever it becomes. I am not trying to name it. Mm. You get what I mean? Melody rap. However, but why don't we have one? Because calling A Boogie a rapper is unfair. If A Boogie puts out the record of his life and Kendrick puts out the record of his life, that they're in the same category. That's insulting like a, to both of them. Like a Tootsie. Like, yeah. This is yeah. not, they are not, this, I could go on and on and on. I just yeah. named the guys who came straight to my head. Yeah. These guys are not rappers and they're not art and they're not R&B singers. And I hate that I'm an artist. Shut up. Everybody's a fucking artist. Everybody's an artist. Stop with the, the hierarchy where they be like, I'm an artist. Shut up. Mm. Everybody is an artist. The type of artist that you are should be, we should give them a genre though. And we should put respect on their talent. The Don Top, we need to respect it and give them a genre. They should not only get a genre, they should get a billboard chart. They should not only get a billboard chart, they should get a Grammy category. And all the other award shows should follow. Because we are doing a disservice to both sides of the art. For the Don Tolliver that's in the rap, he's hurting the rappers, and he might lose because someone might have went off on rap time. Mm. Like, all of those artists, they're all going to lose. They're going to give Kendrick, not like us, the damn rap record of the year. It's done. Pack it up already. You get what I mean? It's going to happen. The Grammy board loves him. So everybody that does harmony, melodic rap is done. Pack it up. Why? They should have their own category. The same way that Grammy's just in, just, just, just initiated that there's an Afrobeat category. They need to do, we need to name this genre and we need to implement it immediately and start putting more respect on our genre. And these are the shits that I want clipped up because mm. this is the gold. This is the real, like this is the gold where it goes, why don't we respect our genre? If rock can have five different subgenres where they all get Grammy noms and they all get charts and they all get, why is it that this is not, why is, why is R Roddy Rich? having to compete with the same exact chart as Meek Mill. Mm. It's insane. I never I never even thought about that. No one does, because we don't put enough respect on our genre. Mm. You want to know what else should happen? And I'm going to be the first ones to really say this. There should be an adult hip-hop. <laughs> so what would be the kid hip-hop? Just give me two different Not artists. kid. Just an adult hip-hop and regular hip-hop. If Jay-Z drops tomorrow, Jay-Z should not be competing with Ice Spice. I like, that's hard. Why is Nas on the same chart as 310 Baby? 310 Baby graduated high school yesterday. It was on the internet. Left, right, baby, let's do it. Yeah. How the fuck is he on the same chart that if Too Short dropped tomorrow, Too Short has to compete with a kid who just finished chemistry homework. Mm. There need to be an adult hip hop. And that's the problem. You wanna get really deep right now? Yo bro, I beg of you clip this up, like for real. That's a part of the flex problem. You wanna know why flex was going at me? It's cause he was scared of his spot. Mm -hmm. He's scared of his spot because he's like, there's a nigga running so fast, he's going to take my spot. But the problem is, is that Flex goes, there's one spot. There shouldn't be. He's an icon. He should have graduated. But where does he graduate to? Why can't Noriega drop a new song? Why can't Snoop Dogg drop a new song? Why can't Jay-Z, Nas, Styles P, why can't they drop new songs? Because they don't want to be competing with these kids and putting out an album and be like, um, Sheik Looch does... 
this amount. It's not fair. They're not even aiming for the same demographic. But in, in all fairness, you are right. I love this. I love this. But we are seeing people like Killer Mike have like be in positions where you can win. You Killer older. Mike won at the Grammys. Killer Mike did not win to the masses. His records are nowhere. The people are not playing it. They're not in the club. They're not getting embraced by the younger demographic. Killer Mike's record got highlighted by the music curators of what the Grammy board is, which is all salute to Killer Mike. But that's like the highest form of recognition when it comes to music, right? I mean, to an extent. I don't want to just put Grammys as the almighty over our culture. But yes, it's one of the highest forms of acknowledgement. But the problem is, is that Killer Mike, when he won it, it they made it so much about age. You shouldn't give up. You shouldn't do this. Why? He should not be competing with this. Mm. So it's He should be with his peers. That says more about Killer Mike, I guess. I mean, you're sure. It's an okay. amazing project. Nothing is wrong okay. with the project. No, I'm saying like him him winning says more about him than it's, it does of the industry not having this. Yeah, and people separate, love Killer Mike. He's yeah. been advocating for it. You promo, you do a lot of things to get a Grammy award. He shouldn't award. be competing you in that it. anyway. No, he shouldn't at all. Mm. Like, if, I'm telling you, I just want this to just be clear as day. If, if Scarface dropped tomorrow, Bun B decided to put out a record tomorrow with E-40, I do not think in any shape or form that he should be on the same chart as 4-1 mm. <laughs> with Cash Cobain. Mm. It's insanity. We're the only people that treat our genre like this. Mm. There should be an adult hip-hop. It's funny Havoc, because they have... Noriega, all of them should just be working. You know what I mean? Everybody should I like be that. dumping. It should. Because they have the... Uh, even. I mean, we see that on a small level when it comes to radio because we have the regular... Uh, like if you're talking about Radio One, right? We have the 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 smaller the radio stations that's local and terrestrial, but then you have the parent company of that, like the Magic, and I think Magic is all around the world, right? You have a, for example, from Baltimore, we got 92Q, but then we got Magic 95.5, where it's all the older music. But that's the pro. You see what you're saying there is that that's that's actually what I'm not in love with. No, because that's playing the older music. I don't need it to play the older music. I need it to also be a space to where the older artists can put out new music as well. It's well, not I guess just it's the older demographic. No, it's exactly what you said. There are channels that play the older music. Mm. I don't just want a channel that plays older music. It should be new music. I still want my older from an older demographic who loves it all. Okay. Who would not mind hearing a brand new um, Trick Daddy song. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Who might not mind to hear a brand new Juvenile song. Okay. Juvenile shouldn't have to be coming up with a new dance to try to get it to be viral because he has to compete. In theory, if Juvenile comes out with a new song, he immediately is competing with Rob49 and New Orleans for radio spots. It's insane. Damn, that makes sense. Nah. So there are so many of our older heads that get forced out and get into bad financial positions because they can't continue to survive because they can't continue to make money. If they were allowed a space where they're not competing with the younger demographic, then people can allow them to operate and put out music. Mm. We are underserving our genre. Someone needs to speak about it. I want to talk. I want to go on to Charlamagne. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I want to talk about this. I want to push against the people that's going to push. I want to go to Billboard and go, why isn't this a thing? I want to go because it's like, who? We don't have a president of hip hop. Someone has to start the dialogue. Someone has to be able to articulate at a high enough level. And someone has to attack the machine and go, Billboard, how do we get this to go through? Is it a certain amount of votes? Is there a panel? Is there something? How do we invent what we're going to call this new genre of music? And an artist, please don't be difficult and be like, I don't want to be the, like, accept that you are this Hybrid. Maybe it's hybrid hip hop. Mm. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's R and B and rap, and now we call it hybrid. Why? I mean, you don't I mean Ro Timmy is relatively young. Why? Like, why do you care so much? It's not about Ro. I'm just curious. Like, just, why, why? Why is this so such a passionate point for you? I mean, I love rap. I came up on the culture. I really identify with what it is, and I hate. I hate that an artist that I, like I love Fabulous. I love Pusha T. Right. I love them. I promise you, Fab doesn't put out an album, and it's no knock to Fab, because I've said a million names, please, before anybody clips this up, I try to make it seem like I'm doing certain shit. Fab, push it to any rapper, insert any older rapper. They are not dropping because they don't want to look crazy being compared to the younger people, mm -hmm. because they're going to be compared to their sales, they're going to be compared to their streams, and they cannot compete. It's not fair. 
If I am a fan of Fabulous, Fabulous came out in 1998 rapping live on the air on DJ Clue with Noriega in a freestyle battle. That's the first time we heard of Fabulous Sport. I am a hip-hop connoisseur for my generation. All the old heads, all the OGs, the reason why they like when I talk is because they know I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not talking on my ass. The reality is, is that Fab and all of these guys, the Pusha T's, the, just the, the rappers who rap, rap, they have to double and triple and quadruple think, do I want to put this out and not chart? Mm. Why are they trying to chart here? If there was an adult hip hop, I'd bet my life that we would have 40 albums from OG rappers that were like, I've been sitting on this music, I want to put it out. Damn. Because they have thoughts. What do you just quit? Rap is in basketball. You don't get bad knees. <laughs> hmm. Your mind still works. 444, uh, four, four, Jay Z's album, the, the mature album. That album did not I sell. I, I was just talking about that. I, that's one of my favorite projects. That's okay. The album didn't sell, yeah. it didn't do good. But it only did good because that's a comparative situation. Hmm. What if that came out in adult hip hop? And that was the number one record in adult hip hop, the number one album. So Jay Z had number one album and highest selling album for his genre. Hmm. It's a different game, right? Hmm. It doesn't look like one of his weaker, less successful projects. It looks like his most because they're like, nigga, four, four, four is talking to people about money, investing, stop doing nigga activities, mm -hmm. stop worrying about what the fuck you see on the internet, Take and start worrying about happens. real motherfucking life. Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit about that? That is under thirty years old, an extremely small minority of people. Mm. He's not talking to them. So if he's not talking to them, why are we trying to make his stats of this album be compared against it? 